Hello, this is Aniket and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Trigger.dev locally on your system. So first of all, you have to go to the GitHub repository. You can click on this link. It will take you to this page, which is the official GitHub repository. They have uh, uh, this one, which is the development guide in which they have shown how you can install uh, the system locally but I'm making this as a video because I face a lot of difficulty while installing those so I'm gonna mention all those problems and you can easily install this uh, tr trigger or dev in your system the very first point is that I am doing this on a Linux because uh, I have my primary operating system was Windows where I tried installing it but uh, the installation process was pretty slow and it took a lot of time so I uh, dual booted my machine and installed linux and then i tried this on linux and it was pretty fast i also tried it on wsl but it was uh, a lot slow in that as well so i directly tried this on linux by the way this is linux mint so if you want to set it up locally i would recommend you uh, if you're using linux it's good you can try on mac as well but if you're on windows i suggest you to dual boot it and install linux you can use ubuntu or any other linux distribution and um, use that Okay, so first we'll go to this page which is a development guide and here it shows all the instructions in which you can install this. Okay, so first of all there are some prerequisites which is Node.js, you should have Node.js installed, uh, a version above than 16. Okay, then you should have uh, PNPM which is a package manager uh, which will use to install all the dependencies and you should have Docker. So first of all uh, you need to install Docker on your system, uh, installing Docker on Linux is pretty simple you just have to go to docker.com and then you just click on download for linux so the process is pretty simple you just have to follow they have mentioned all this in their documentation you just have to follow the process and then you can easily install it okay so you just have to in choose your operating system mine is uh, linux mint which is based on ubuntu so i'll click this and i will install this dev package and then i will just run these commands and just follow everything and then this docker desktop will get installed okay it's pretty straightforward then you have to install node.js uh, another thing is that if you are on ubuntu then it's fine because you can e easily install node.js from snap store but if you're on linux mint there is a bit technical uh, issue because linux mint doesn't support snap and even if you install uh, node.js from snap store it uh, this trigger a dev will uh, create problems while you uh, like install it locally so i would recommend is you download it from the official node.js website so you go to uh, this node.js website click on other downloads and just go down and choose this one which is installing node.js via package manager and then you choose the operating system i'll choose this and you go to this node.js binary distribution okay so now you'll visit uh, this uh, node.js uh, github repository okay node.js binary distributions from here we'll install node.js on our system and if you go down you'll see this installation in installation instructions okay so based upon our uh, operating system we'll install this you just need to run these few commands these commands and from here you need to choose a version choose a version above 16 so either we're gonna 18 or 20 choose 18 because currently this is the stable version and uh, in future we may go into the 21 to check if uh, node.js is installed or not you can just go to your terminal and uh, type node version okay so as we have the 18.17.1 which is the latest version as of today so uh, now node.js is installed officially on our system okay so after that we need to go to uh, this one which is the pnpm package manager uh, you can go to this link pnpm.io slash installation and from here we need to install pnpm on our system so uh, if you have windows you can you don't need to run these commands because these commands are for the systems who don't have node.js installed as we have node.js installed we can just easily install this by using npm npm is the official package manager for node.js so we'll just run this command which is npm installed uh, slash g hyphen g pnpm which uh, which will install uh, a pnpm globally on our system we need to run this command on terminal and then pnpm will be installed now after having completed all the prerequisites we'll now go to uh, the github repository and from here we need to fork this project so click on fork and then uh, choose a owner i have already have forked it so uh, you just need to click create fork and it would create a copy of this repository 
in your account github account okay so i'll just show you uh, this is the repository which i have forked and uh, this is the same repository but now it's on my account this is just a copy so from here you need to click on code and just copy this one okay now you need to open up your terminal okay and uh, you need to type uh, git clone and then you need to paste that link and just hit enter so this will download this entire code base into your system now it's downloaded now we'll just proceed into that directory now we are into this trigger.dev directory and now uh, in this repository if you go down scroll down is the here in the readme.file they have a development section which have a development guide you need to click this one and here they have written a pretty straightforward process in which you can easily install it i have made this as a video so that it would be easier when someone installed it because i when i have tried installing i have failed multiple times installing it and probably in the fourth or fifth time i easily i was able to easily install that okay so now we have completed this process which was uh, moving into the directory now we'll run this command which is pnpm i which will install all the dependencies they have used in the code base so now i'll run this command which is pnpm i and hit enter and okay so the dependencies are installed and it took only 26 seconds it's very fast now uh, we need to run this command which is uh, cp.env.example to .env so .env.example is a file they have created where they have all the in essential environment variables we need and we need to copy all those and create a file uh, .env file in which we will store our environment variables so we need to copy this command and then we have to just run this command okay now our environment variable file is created we need to open up our id i'm using vs code okay so this is the dot env dot example file we need to update these three variables which are session secret magic link secret and encryption key so they also have a documentation for that okay so now we need to uh, create a new encryption key session secret and magic click secret as well so you need to run this command which will generate a random 16 byte string okay so you need to copy this and you need to run this command so it would generate a random 16 byte string you need to copy this string okay and you need to update update this here in your dot env file okay you need to uh, put this and replace this encryption key you need to also do the same for uh, session secret and magic link secret so you can just run this command again and generate two more Okay, so now after doing this, we need to run this command, which is a pnpm run docker. This would create a database. Uh, in trigger.dev, they use a Postgres database and this will create a database and a container and it will run on Docker. So first of all, you need to uh, open your Docker desktop and I already have uh, created one because I already have installed this project on my computer. So I'll just uh, run this command, which is pnpm run docker. Okay, so the container database has started because I already have uh, created one. So it's uh, it has started now and it's running. Okay, so as you can see in the database, it has port Postgres and uh, the container is created. All right, so now we need to run this command, which is migrate to migrate the database. So it would uh, do a lot of things in the background and it would, you just need to enter the command and just run. So it's now done. Now you need to run this command to actually build the app. Now the app has been built. Now you need to run this command, which is the seed script. So it will install all the test data for you to use. So now we run this command as well.
okay so everything is now finished now you just need to run the final command so it will launch the application on your local host system on port 3030 so now we have successfully uh, installed triggered dev locally on our system so you just need to visit this link which is localhost 3030 and you would come across this page you need to continue with email you just need to enter an email address and give a name and you would be successfully logged into the dashboard so i'll just show you right now all right so i have logged into my account and from here you can create an organization your project and you can easily work on it so this was my video on how you can install and set up trigger dev locally on the system thank you